As you can imagine, Air Force One is the most secretive plane in the world. Maybe not, but here's what we're allowed to know. This heavily modified Boeing 747-200 cost about $700 million when it was built in 1990. To put it into perspective, its commercial counterpart cost about $170 million bucks when it was first built in 1976. When it's in flight, the costs are staggering. A regular 747 costs upwards of $25,000 per hour to operate. Air Force One, you ask? Wait for it. Almost 10 times more at $206,337, according to files contained in the Freedom of Information Act. Now, think about this. According to an analysis done by Forbes, the average American Joe makes about $43,460 a year. Estimating that people work 40 years on average, Joe will pay about $188,520 in taxes throughout his working life. Sure, there are a lot of estimations there, but you get the point. So, you're potentially working your entire life so one president can get 56 minutes in the air. Yeah, let that simmer for a while. Okay, so let's go explore the outside of the plane. This might look like a regular 747, but it's equipped with some nifty features and gadgets. Its windows are bulletproof, it can shoot out flares like a jet fighter if missiles are approaching, and the bottom of it is heavily shielded against electromagnetic pulses associated with nuclear blast. It's also capable of mid-air refueling so that it can potentially fly indefinitely, but it also has the ability to fly up to 6,000 miles in one go. Now let's take a peek inside. A typical 747 can seat up to 660 passengers in the sardine configuration most of us are used to, but Air Force One was gutted to allow the President and about 100 other crucial staffers to fly, like, well, the President and about 100 other crucial staffers fly. Within its 4,000 square foot enclosure, and by the way, an average American home is 2,400 square feet according to the last census, there are 10 main compartments. Starting at the back, we have the offices and press quarters. Coincidentally, that's the safest part of the plane. Look up crash statistics. Then you have the security office, staff and secretarial quarters, a dining slash conference room, a senior staff room, and a kitchen that's able to deliver 100 meals at any given time. The front, past the main door, is where the neat stuff is. That's where you have the president's office. It has a really nice handcrafted wooden table, and that's where, you know, important world stuff happens. Present or not, the cockpit is where the cockpit is because you can't pilot an aircraft from the lavatories, which, by the way, are right here, 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 and here on Air Force One. There's also a legitimate surgical room in case of an emergency, fully equipped with the president's blood type and a surgeon who could perform an operation at a moment's notice. Talk about covering your bases. But where does the president sleep, you might ask? Well, ladies and gents, his suite is in the nose. It's got a presidential-sized bed, a shower, dressing room, and a gym in case he or she wants to pump up before a TV appearance. So that's Air Force One for you. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that subscribe button if you want more content like this. And if you have any ideas that you want us to put together, just drop us a line in the comments section. You are now free to watch any cat videos you'd like. Have a good one.